Eric Morgan at the Bartlett Arboretum and Gardens in Stamford, Connecticut. So we were investigating uh, how philodendron amaranths invade into a number of different forests. So some of the early research that we did after finding it at the Bartlett Arboretum site indicated that it would inhabit, uh, it was a shade intolerant species and would only inhabit areas where the forest was very open uh, and disturbed areas where it had no competition uh, for things like light and the seedlings would be able to establish on their own. So what we did was we started uh, looking at the site of the Bartlett Arboretum and taking a look at the, the surrounding forest of the area and we started coming up with importance values for the area which philodendron had invaded. And what we found was that it was an area dominated by red maple, uh, sweet birch and uh, white, white oak. So then we started looking into literature reports of where else the tree had been seen and we started to go from city to city to confirm these sites and when we were able to confirm sites that had a, a numerous trees, at least 50 different trees that had grown to maturity and reproduced on their own, we calculated the importance values for those areas that had been inhab inhabited by philodendron as well. And what we found was that the five main invasions that we looked at, one of which was in Tolland County, Connecticut, the Bartlett in Stanford, Connecticut, the New York Botanic Garden in Bronx, New York, Forest Park in Queens, New York, and the Morris Arboretum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, none of them shared the same tree as the top member in importance value. So they were all different forest types. Uh, they had different levels of canopy closure. They had different species throughout their importance values. And the density of trees surrounding the philodendron was also uh, significantly different. So another way of looking at this uh, representation of that data was to do a correspondence analysis. And what we found was that four of, of the five sites were in completely different clusters of, of the correspondence analysis. So the most different site from the others was Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which was the Morris Arboretum site, where it was a very open area. And the most dense sites were the sites in Queens and Bronx, New York, which geographically would be the closest sites distance-wise as well. So it was very likely that they would be the most similar in uh, tree density and tree species as well. And John Borishevitz, who is uh, the partner in this research, we've been working on this project since 2008.